A group called Anonymous has uh, started to use denial of service attacks. They're called DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service. The extra D in there, the distributed part, makes them very difficult to stop because they come from many, many sources. If one person is angry with a company and wants to interfere with their website or some other connectivity issue, they could try to overwhelm a piece of equipment, a router or a web server or something with information and slow it down and inter interfere with it as is the case now. But that's not going to last very long because the network in between can shut off individual tunnels that are formed to bring the, to, to create this challenge. It's easy to do with one or two or a dozen. It's much more difficult when there are 5,000 spread across the planet. Since the two credit card companies were only down for a few hours. So that does represent a significant financial impact, but it does also suggest that they are able to adapt. And yes, you can in some cases adapt to these types of attacks. It depends on uh, how many resources you have available to you and, and how you've designed your infrastructure. Generally speaking, companies are not very well prepared for these types of attacks. They usually only have a single point of contact to the internet, a single tunnel, uh, a major bandwidth source, and if that pipe gets plugged up with all this traffic, then they are in essence isolated from the rest of the world. And that could affect their internal communications as much as their external communications.